Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maha and my channel name is Brighter Days Aviary. So if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can be alerted of new videos and give the video a big thumbs up because why not? <laughs> um, so before, obviously you can tell by the time of this video, I'm going to be showing you guys stuff I got at the Orlando Bird Expo, but before... I go into my haul. I would really, really suggest you watch my video Orlando Bird Expo Exposed um, where I show you guys um, what I saw at the Bird Expo and honestly it was the, the conditions that the birds were in were absolutely horrific and there was a lot of sick and dying birds and starving birds and I don't know how that could have happened. I, I literally don't know how, why. I don't know, but all I know is that I had to make a video about it showing you guys and informing you guys. Um, and just so you know, all the items that I purchased, I did not purchase from anyone selling live birds. I only purchased these items from people who were selling cages or selling toys or selling food, etc, etc. I did not buy anything from anyone who was selling live birds um, just to show them that I'm, I don't support what you're doing to these beautiful creatures so without further ado let's move right into this video so i actually have the first bag here and i have a some toys and actually these toys were like not expensive at all and that's kind of the good one of the good things about the bird expo is that you can get toys for amazing prices so this is the first toy i got right here and this was 750 and I'm pretty sure this toy at any like retail location, it would probably be $10 or more. So it has a little bell at the bottom and you know, these cute little stars, rope, and then it has this like shreddy paper inside a woven basket. So this would be a really good toy for um, birds that are breeding so they can, you know, kind of shred it, take these little things out, put them in their nest and all that good stuff. So this is what this toy looks like, but I don't think I'm going to give them to any of um, my birds that are breeding. I'll probably, um, I don't have any birds that are breeding now, but in the future, I'm um, in the summer, I might hatch a clutch or two, I don't really know yet to be honest. But I'll probably give these um, to my um, other lovebirds because I'm sure they'll love shredding this to bits. So that's the first toy here. So the next two toys that I got look like this. They are, you know, they have like little stars. They have a woven ball with the plastic, or not the plastic, I'm sorry, the shredded paper, another star at the bottom, and then like a small little bell. And I got two of them. And these were $4, which I thought was an amazing price for these. These were probably, I don't know, retail for like seven bucks in a store or something like that. Some outrageous, crazy price. And that. Eh, nothing happens. This piece of cardboard just fell. I thought it was like a, a bug or something jumping out at me. I was gonna get ready to like run away. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> run away out of the seat. Anyway, so I bought three comfy perches. Where's the third one? Here. So I bought three comfy perches. These are each for $75. And I do know in stores these are like six to eight dollars. So for four seventy-five, this is a great price. And I just got them in the parakeet size, as you can see. So I absolutely love these rope perches. Um, they're super good for my lovebirds that have splayed legs, um, just because of the curve that it has, it's easier. And it's also the texture, it's easier for them to grip onto. And these are just good for birds in general. Your bird doesn't necessarily have to have splayed, leg splayed legs, splayed legs in order to use this perch or like this perch. So um, I bought three of them because obviously you have to be replacing your rope perches every so often, especially when they start to, um, they tend to start to like shred right here. And then that can cause a lot of problems. Your bird's foot might get stuck in them, etc., etc. So I got three of those. So the next ones I got were five of these. And they actually had a super amazing deal on them. Let me take them all out. So here are all of them. They have um, bells at the bottom and then obviously just like wooden popsicles. 
So I got five of them for $10. Can you believe that? I thought that was an amazing deal. Five of these for $10. So I just snatched them up and I took them home. And then next I got three perches. So these are for my lovebirds that, um, I don't, I don't want to call them breeders because they're not breeders they're pets to me like they have names i love them i provide for them just like how i would provide my like my pet pet love birds that i don't um that they don't breed so i don't like to call them breeders um i will just like to i just call them my pets that i breed i guess i don't know but <laughs> these i have three pair or, yeah i have three pairs of love birds i used to have four but um i condensed it down to three or I condensed them down to three so I have these three wood perches and each of them were two fifty two dollars and fifty cents like that's amazing so it is a perfect um natural wood perch and e I'm gonna put each of these wood perches in um my lovebirds cages that breed or that I normally breed so next I got this is for my Amazon parrot so I got him these like treat filled um, jars I actually got two jars so yeah and there is banana like dehydrated banana dehydrated um, fruit pieces, there's pieces of walnut, pieces of almond, hazelnut, etc, etc. So that is what I got from him and he loves these. Like he loves the dehydrated banana. He loves all of it. My, I mean my Amazon here, he is not picky at all. Or she's not picky at all. I don't know if she's a boy or a girl. Um, but yeah, he or she is not picky at all. They, she will literally eat everything so yeah and then last but not least i actually got these like tiny um i got like six of these small cubes for my lovebirds and then i got one big cube for my amazon parrot and i uh, last but not least i got them this like really big it's not right in front of me right now it's actually outside in the porch um, but I'll like show a video clip while I'm talking about it. So it's just this really big thing. I'm just kidding. It's not a big thing. It's like this really big like play or natural wood perch play gym ish. So that's just basically what it looks like. Um, and it is outside in the porch. So when I take my lovebirds out to like fly around the porch, they can land on it and play on it and stuff like that um and so far they actually really like it so i'm really happy about that purchase originally it was 50 dollars, but um it was literally like 15 minutes before closing so the man was like i'll just give it to you for 40 and i'm like all right i mean that sounds good to me so that's what it looks like and i just have it on a stand and the lovebirds love it so that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And I know I've been MIA the past life, like forever. And I'm really sorry about that. But, um, you know, life was just crazy. But, you know, I'm back in the group of things and I'm staying on for good. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and thumbs up my video. And please go check out the, um, bur the, the bird. The video that I talked about the bird expo because honestly as many people like a lot of people need to know about it because it's just not okay so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see everyone in my next video bye guys